You know, the most reliable car I've ever owned is a Subaru Legacy, still going with over 350,000 kilometers on it. The most fun I think I've ever had in a car was in a Subaru STI several years back, and the good news was is that it belonged to Subaru and didn't belong to me. Well, I guess we've uh, let bygones be bygones because they've invited us out to Calabogie Motorsports to the launch of the new WRX and STI. Now check this out. The STI is said to be faster in almost every way, yet they haven't changed the powertrain at all. And it's less money than it was before. What up with that? And the WRX has been improved in a lot of ways. Everybody's talking about the wide body styling. And today, we're going to begin with the WRX. There's no doubt about it, the WRX is a fantastic car. In fact, I wouldn't change a thing. But Subaru thought differently. When they made it into an STI, they lightened the wheels up by four pounds a piece, added front and rear sway bar, and considerably more spring rate in the back, 50% more, and a bit more spring rate in the front. Everything else under the car is just about the same, except for the power. And really, that's what makes the STI into an STI. A lot more power. What all that adds up to is a car that's track ready right out of the box. So Subaru's kindly brought us to Calabogi Motorsports so that we can test this power. Up over the crest of this right hander and then down again, squeezing on the power and it just comes in great gobs. Taking a gear here and going faster. <laughs> you don't really need to go this fast in the street, but holy mackerel on the racetrack, this makes a lot of sense to me. There's a programmable center differential that you can play around with to go from 50-50 or 60-40, depending on where you set it. And there's also traction control that you can completely kill. But for my money, leave the traction control on. It's not intrusive at all, and it can actually help you out, especially on a racetrack where you're not completely sure where it goes left and right. The rear wing is a different shape so that it's not so intrusive on the rear view mirror. But as Enzo Ferrari says, what's behind you? Well, that's of no consequence. The fastest STI ever is marginally faster, five more kilometers an hour on top end. And it does have a better aerodynamic efficiency. But what everybody at Subaru has been saying, and I have to agree with, is this is a much easier car to drive. Therefore, you can toss it into a corner more confidently and probably be safer at the end of the day. Gone is the stigma that was attached to the old STI. Frankly, that basket handle wing and the gold wheels was just a bit too much. Kind of like a fun, flashy date, but you wouldn't want to marry the thing. Well, this car is much more understated, but the car itself, is fantastic. It's an improvement in just about every single way. And so at the end of the day, you have to ask yourself, do you need a car like this? <laughs> just try to get away with it in your house. No, you don't need a car like this, but do you want a car like this? I'll tell you, with every passing lap, I've decided, yeah, you do want a car just like this. <laughs> 